Hello, and welcome to the PCO Camware video tutorials. Today's video tutorial will guide you on how to set your camera parameters. The camera properties window on the right hand side is the main interface for all camera settings. The active set selected within the camera list is adjusted here. Basically, three view options can be selected for the properties dialog. Basic, Custom, and Expert. The basic mode only shows essential camera settings such as exposure time. This mode is recommended for those who are new to our cameras and do their first steps. The custom mode, however, allows you to select only the parameters that are relevant for you. By clicking on the custom properties button, you can choose which of the listed functions shall be shown or hidden. This mode is a smart compromise between functionality and clear arrangement. The expert mode shows all possible camera settings for advanced users. Now let's have a closer look at the individual functions of the properties dialog. The first section is related to your camera model. Here you can enter in a preferred camera name, which helps for orientation when working with multiple cameras. Timing is the most important settings for recording images with your camera. Set a proper exposure time and, if necessary, delay time for your experiment. Camware automatically calculates and displays the maximum achievable frame rate based upon timing and ROI settings. Easily change time base by clicking here and the respective window opens. The time base can be set to nanoseconds, microseconds, milliseconds, or automatic. Set FPS base mode to on and select a proper frame rate in the provided list. The camera optimizes the image recording to achieve the selected frame rate. This feature is only available for PCO high-speed cameras of the Dimax series. For triggering the exposure of an image, select one of the trigger modes available. In auto sequence mode, the image recording is optimized by the camera to achieve the best possible frame rate. Soft trigger mode only records single images. In the external exposure start exposure control mode, image recording is started by the falling or rising edge of the voltage signal at the exposure trigger input of the camera. Other trigger modes are available depending upon your camera model. The ROI, which stands for region of interest, selects a part of the sensor to be read out, thus reducing the amount of image data and potentially increasing the frame rate. Enter the ROI values manually or open the ROI window and drag a ROI by mouse. Binning combines adjacent pixels in either the horizontal or vertical direction to form super pixels. It increases the signal to noise ratio and decreases the spatial resolution of the whole recorded image. Select a binning mode from one by one to 4x4. Four four. Hardware I.O. control offers settings for the physical end and outputs of the camera. For example, the exposure trigger input where signal type and signal polarity can be set. The status section shows the current temperature level of the camera system. A dialog box at the bottom of the properties menu shows different descriptions for each setting of the camera properties. In addition to that, a closer look into the camera manual will also help you to understand the functions in detail. So that's all about setting the camera properties in Camware 4. Thanks for watching.